Planning a living space is no easy task. There are lots of things to consider, but don't panic. I always like to begin with the floor because that's what the eye reads first. The rug can definitely be seen as the anchor of a room. Nothing will make a room feel smaller than a rug that is too small. So think about size, the proportions of your room, the furniture that you ultimately will want to place on the rug, and then choose your rug. An important consideration for me is that the key furniture items are placed on the rug. Have at least the front of the sofa on the rug, then I would definitely suggest that the coffee table and any other seating are also on the rug. Keep those pieces that anchor the room on the rug, or choose a rug that is small enough to sit in the middle of them. Either go large or go small. Choosing the right sofa is an equation between aesthetic, comfort, quality, and size. Size is something that we often get wrong. Often we are scared of choosing something that is too big. We shouldn't. Nothing is gonna make a space feel smaller than when you put small furniture in it. If in doubt, oversize. Obviously you've gotta make sure that you've got clearance around the room, but go big. Once upon a time, it would have been very important to have two matching chairs. Nothing wrong with it, but mix it up. Maybe a chair and an ottoman. A coffee table is an important component of a living space. You want a coffee table that looks good, and that functions, because you do need that table. I would always advise people to go for the largest they can and not too low. Maybe something that just hovers slightly below the height of the sofa, so it's a comfortable height when you're reaching from the sofa or you're putting something down on the coffee table. Once upon a time, the nest of tables was tucked away in the corner of the room. I actually like the idea of having two contrasting coffee tables at different heights, one sitting above the other. That works beautifully. In fact, I have it in my own home. You can create a beautifully textured and interesting neutral room by thinking about contrasts. Don't just think about contrasting shades, think about contrasting materials. Books, candles, glassware, ceramics, there are so many beautiful choices around. Combined with using different shades, you will end up with a beautifully layered room. Colour confuses us and it really shouldn't. The best advice I can give somebody who wants to introduce colour into their home is to introduce it gently through accessories, coloured cushions, coloured glassware, all things that can be very easily changed out. Once you start living with those colours, you will develop confidence, and then once you've done that, you might want to take it to the next stage. We're surrounded by inspiration these days. Wonderful thing, just start to compile things that you love. After a period of time, you will start to see a pattern emerge in the shapes that you respond to, the colors you respond to, the styles that you respond to. Take time. When you're creating your signature living space, it's so important to fill that space with things that you love, but also really think about the way you live your life how you want to live in that space. Everything will flow from there.